Today in this video, I'm going to share the best free method to change the dress of your AI models, and it achieves up to 95% accuracy. This is all possible because of the defocus, the updated focus version. So what is defocus, and how to use it? Let's find out this is the GitHub page, and this is the code. This is open source, the same as the focus. You can even install this on your computer. And if you look at the comparison over the normal focus, you can see they have added a photo P in it, which is free, and a lighter version of Photoshop, which is free. And if I scroll down, we have the built-in background remover as well. These are some other features like the fast preset choices, more presets, sound after rendering metadata, special theme optimized parameters, and if I scroll down even further. So they have also added a few features from the Leonardo AI like the magic prompt, advanced sample parameters like the contrast sharpness, and user-friendly control nets. Now if you want to download this on your local computer, you can download this, and it uses less RAM and the GPU than the normal focus. We can use this on our Google Code app. You will find the link in the description below. Once you click on that, you will have this interface in front of you. So just connect your GPU, then click on this play button, and this will start executing the codes. So now you can see we have this Gradio link here, and I would say this is much, much faster than the normal focus, because it executed the code very quickly. So here is the defocus interface, and you can instantly notice that we have the photo view option, and we have the remove background option. But the rest of the things are pretty much similar. If I click on the input image and the advanced options, you can see we have more advanced in painting models, and we have the describe option just like the mid journey, and we even have the metadata. Now let's talk about changing the dress. So first of all, you need to have your input image. So for that, you can click on this remove the background and upload your dress here. Once done, you can download this image and now get back to the generation tab and select the image prompt. And now just upload the image of a dress without a background. And now scroll down and click on these advanced options. Just keep the stop at a value around 0.85 and the weight value will be around 0.97 or 96. This is the best setting that I found, but you can also play around with your settings. Now in the prompt section, type a prompt related to your dress. So I'm going to type like a beautiful woman in a red dress, full body, and make sure to select the aspect ratio according to your dress. So I'm going to go with that one ratio two and hit generate. So here is the output image. And now you can see this is 90% similar to our input dress. The minor details like the dress outline kind of things are a little bit different. But I would say this is 90% matching with our input dress. And as the dress was short, it couldn't be adjusted it. But this is just a random model and how we can put this dress on our personalized or customized model. And for that, again, in the image prompt upload, the dress. So I'm using the yellow dress and again keeping the values around 0.85 and the weight values around 0.96. From the right side, select the advanced options and select the developer debug mode. Then we have more options here and now select the controls. Select mixing image prompt with inpaint and now select the in-painting option and upload your model image. So in my case, this is going to be my model. I generated this with the Leonardo AI. Now start painting the dress area only and leave the rest of the area. So make sure to make a precise selection of that. Well, you can also adjust the brush size accordingly. So once you are done without hinting any prompts, simply hit generate, okay? So this is the output image. And now look at that. It did a really good job and it maintained the dress. Obviously, not everything is perfect. You can see that it messed up with the dress color, but this is not a big deal. We can fix this thing with the in-painting option. And even the pose wasn't suitable for this kind of dress, but still, it did a really good job. So here is the before and here is the after. So that was a quick tutorial on the defocus and also changing the dress of your virtual AI models. That's it from today. I hope you learned something new and if you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one.